All right, everyone, here we go with the new moon in Leo reading. I've been waiting to pull this reading since I started pulling your August readings. It's a pretty powerful energy. New moons are a time of, well, it's, it's a time of renewal, right? But energetically speaking, what happens is there's a brief moment. It, it actually is only brief where the moon is completely dark, okay? And in that moment, whether we're on a spiritual journey or not, all right, we realize some things it's like a it's like a hanged man it's like suspended animation it's a little mini dark night of the soul that lasts very briefly a few minutes maybe but in that you can really pick up on some shit and that's kind of what's happening here uh and if you're already on a spiritual journey you go deeper in that moment now this particular new moon is very interesting because normally under normal circumstances, it would be fueled by Jupiter, which is a planet of expansion, right? We got expanding energies in the sign of Aries, a, a, a fellow fire sign of the new moon. But this time, at about the same time, relatively close in time, uh, Jupiter's going retrograde. And because of that, we get this moment where the realizations, the revelations stick, you know? It, it allows you to reassess. So it's sort of a reassessing moon about where we've been and what we've done. It's actually a very laid back moon. It's another one of those, even though it's in Leo, it's another one of those sort of laid back energies, but it, it'll, it, it brings a lot of clarity for you and for a certain runner that I'm pulling on. That said, uh, here's my pre-shuffle. It's very interesting. I think we're, this is gonna be a very interesting reading. It is, this new moon energy lasts a couple of weeks and it rides right through during the time that this energy lingers, we've got Lion's Gate, we've got Venus changing signs, we've got uh, Venus moving to Leo, and we've got Mercury moving to an earthy Virgo. It's going to be very interesting, so you might want to stick around. Mm. Somebody here is realizing some things for sure. Very nice. I'm also going to pull on Jupiter retrograde because that's an important energy, but that energy will be here a little bit, okay? That said, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Okay, let's see where we go. This reading is technically timeless, so they all are, uh, because you're all on different timelines, so you're all moving at different speeds. This Leo New Moon energy could affect your person, for example, if they're very slow. could affect them as, as far down the road as, as September or October. It could. It's possible. There's no time in the energy, right? But the energy's there. It's just, you know, they got to catch up to it. But that's, this is what I'm pulling on right now. This is what's going on. Pay attention to yourself anyway. Ten cups crossing, crossed by seven cups. Uh -huh. um, it's somebody who's figuring out that they got happiness wrong. We've seen that a lot. Okay, We have seen that a lot. But however, we don't usually see it with... This King of Cups has been coming up a lot lately. This King of Cups, someone wants to give the love. The love that's been sitting and sitting. And getting, and getting toxic within them. Someone can't hold back too much longer, okay? It's getting difficult for them to do that. And here's the, here's the hermit crossing the King of Cups. See, it's, that's, the, that's why I described the new moon in the beginning of this video the way I did. It's that moment. It's that moment of, I don't even want to call it clarity. It just, it, it takes you deep whether you want to go or not where you can see down the void. You know, you can look all the way down there and see everything. Somebody is here. Somebody, it, it sets off something within your person here, okay? And because of, of Jupiter going retrograde at the same time, there's no more, one, what somebody realizes is they've hit a wall. There's nowhere they can go. They either come toward their happiness, which I'm pulling on the soulmate connection, is definitely for you, and I'll show you why in a second, or they sit in what they've got. There's, there's nowhere to go. They're boxed in. So this new moon with Jupiter retrograde kind of boxes them in a little bit. Oh shit, uh, what have I done here? I chose wrong. Someone chose wrong in their life. They chose the wrong direction. They turned left when they should have gone right at some point in time. And that's what's fucked them up. And they're realizing that there's a lot of love that they have for you that they want to give. And why do I say it's all related to the soulmate connection? Because underneath that hermit, bookending the Ten of Cups is the Two of Cups. They got it wrong. Okay? And it's, it's not just a moment of realizing that. They've realized that before. But it's a moment of realizing that their back's against the wall. 
no more expansion Jupiter is retrograde while it's retrograde we need to take the lesson we need to we need to do something okay uh, we, it's a planning stage it's, it's a stage of real again with your person more more than anything else it's a stage of realizing that their backs against the wall they can't go forward unless they do something here make some changes and that's why we saw the August readings especially the August overview reading play out the way it did because you when you add Lionsgate to that when you add uh, Venus moving to Leo that's that's some shit right there and you add mercury in a grounding sensible sign of virgo you know okay it's a practical practical i need to communicate they need to do it and that all reflected here in this pre-show you know it's all there so let's see where we go let's shuffle the deck it's it's a very i do my best to explain the energies to you in a way that i think everybody will sort of relate to it you know you kind of get it, it it's mm, Okay, it's sort of like your parents stopping the car. You're you're arguing with your sibling in the back seat, right? Your person's been arguing with themselves a lot over this connection. You're arguing with your sibling in the back seat, and your and your dad is driving, and he stops the car. He pulls it over to the side, turns around, and says, "Unless you two fucking shut up, we're not going anywhere. We're gonna sit right here. No trip to Disneyland for you." And Disneyland, of course, for a kid is the Ten of Cups, isn't it? You know. That's what's going on with Jupiter retrograde around this new moon. It's, oh my God, realizing in the new moon, and then the car is not going anywhere until you do something, all right? Until you, until you make something happen. It's kind, of what, it's kind of how the energy feels, all right? So let's see. Let's see where we go here. It's going to make that Jupiter retrograde interesting uh, reading very interesting and a lot of fun to pull, I'm sure. Because I'm basically taking the role of the parent at that point. <laughs> let's see here. His first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Mm -hmm. Why? The star. Uh, it implies a tower. Uh, that's, that's the energy that's there. That's why the universe threw me that card. So I would say that. The star implies a tower. It's one of only two cards in the major arcana where you can pull a, a pure implied card. Something, you know, assume that something has happened sort of a thing. The other one is the world. It assumes you got past judgment, or someone did. This right here, there's a tower somewhere in between. I'm going to cut the deck, and we're going to pull a card that comes after it in the cut. But somewhere in between is a tower, or maybe the tower was over here. It's probably a better way to put it. Um, it's everything I've been telling you. You know, it's that's it. It is kind of a, a tower moment, isn't it? When when the car gets pulled over, and someone says, "We're not going anywhere until you two start behaving." You know, and your person is two people. Your person's been arguing with themselves quite a bit about you and all of this. We see it. I've been telling you a lot lately that Five of Wands has been coming up, right? That Five of Wands, that arguing, internal arguing, chatter with your person. It are those two kids arguing in the back seat? It's the only thing keeping you two apart. It's the only thing keeping those two kids from Disneyland. And yeah, right here, yeah. the star. You know what the tower was? It was toxic disappointment. Four of Cups. I think that's that's funny. That's the back against the wall kind of energy, isn't it? They're, they're just, the disappointment is just all over the place in these readings lately. Someone's dis a fucking pointed in themselves, in whatever. They got happiness wrong. and they. But the thing is, what they're disappointed about now is they never did anything about it. You know, this is, they re, in fact, they rejected it. This is very powerful reading. You know, the moon readings always are. The moon is the second most powerful energy that affects us on a daily basis. And these are always very powerful. Let's see. Give me the soulmate cycle universe. We'll give the deck a final shuffle with the influence of the new moon in Leo. Throw a few other influences in if you want. All right, let's see. Give me a reading here. Let's see where we go. Let's shuffle the deck. Oh, boy. We're doing big shuffles. Okay. Big shuffles. Oh, yeah. Overall energy of everything that falls on the table is the Knight of Cups. Oh, that's awesome. Again, there's nowhere to go. Their back's against the wall. You think they, they've got to come to their senses. They have no choice. The new moon by itself forces that. That moment I talked about where it's completely dark. You can see everything. You can feel everything. Most people are so distracted with their own lives, they never pick up on it. You know, don't get me wrong. Don't even get me started on society with their faces and smartphones, right? But 
if it's just talking to you, my viewer, if you if you look up the exact time that new moon happens at your location where you live, be there for that moment, even if it's something like two in the morning or some shit like that. Make sure you're up for it. Make sure you're there. Just and just quiet your mind for a brief moment. You'll know everything. You'll you'll feel you'll 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 get it for a brief moment. Well, your person will too. And the universe knows that your person's not going to do that. They're, they're not going to take the advice that I just gave you, right? So they're going to be one of the people that it sort of passes by and ignores. But what's beautiful about this new moon is it's coupled with Jupiter retrograde. So that moment lasts a little longer. It keeps coming back. It keeps getting, it, it, it just, it sticks. It's almost like a dream that you remember, uh, sort of. You feel the dream, but you don't really remember the moments and you keep trying to get back to it. That's sort of the energy. This is someone here. This is forward movement. What's crossing this? Yeah. The two of wands. Again, their back's against the wall. There's nowhere to go. They've got to let go of something. And if they want to move forward. If they don't let go of it, they don't move forward. It's exactly what the two of wands says. And it looks like they're inclined to move forward. The universe predicts forward movement. It's the overall energy of our reading. Let's see where we go. The reading's on the flip. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person feels and their emotions, how they're behaving in the 3D. Right here is their soul. Maybe how they feel about you, maybe just the condition of their soul. We'll see when we get there. Right here is the hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know. I'll tell you it's red with the energy of the connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, and you bet your sweet asses, and I know they are. There'll be a link for an extended in the description of this video. This is some powerful shit. And we haven't had a reading in a while where the Knight of Cups was the overall energy. All right? It backed up. Everything backed up my pre-shuffle. Everything backed up my read on the energy. And I have a feeling this reading will too. You ready? Let's do it. What's the energy around your connection under the influence of this new moon energy? And again, a little bit of the Jupiter retrograde we have to keep in mind. That's why I keep mentioning it here. But I am going to pull on that specifically. Because that's got its own little surprises within it. All right, seven pentacles. Yeah, it's what did I? What? Why? Why is that perfect? Well, it's a card of divine timing. It's a card of nothing happening. It's a card of someone sitting on their hands. It's a card of someone seeing down the abyss. Someone thinking back. Someone taking stock. I just got done giving you a whole dissertation on what happens in that moment where the moon is completely dark, where the energy is completely blocked. I'm coming at you. Where that in that one moment, I told you stay up till two in the morning if that's what it is. You remember I said that. Well, this is that. This is where we're at on both sides. Everybody here is going to realize something. Everybody here is going to let something go. August is a month in a lot of ways in the overall energy of letting something go. For your person, it's letting go of that fighting. Right? That's why I gave the analogy of two siblings in the back seat fighting. Dad pulls over the car under this new moon energy. He says, we're not going anywhere until you stop this shit. Right? And they want Disneyland. They want you, your Disneyland in this analogy. They want you. They do. You want, if they want to go to Anaheim, they need to, they need to stop the shit. All right? They need to cut the shit. That's that. It's right there. I'm pulling on the new moon. I get the energy of that sort of thing happening. Exactly what I've described to you. We'll see what happens when we clarify. How are they behaving in the 3D? Five of Pentacles. Um, I wouldn't normally read this card this way, but the energy coming off of it, my first intuitive thing with it, which I have to go with, is someone is distracting themselves a little bit. Your person is that. And I don't mean that they're trying to not look at you in, intentionally. I mean, uh, your person, how are they behaving in the 3D? Your person is that person I talked about where I said when I was talking about the new moon that most people miss it. They miss that moment. Because they're too self-focused. They're too busy on what they're doing. They got their faces in the smartphone or whatever. Your person is one of those people. Okay? And because of that, there's an, air, there's an energy of winter around them. They miss a lot in their life. Not just you. Anybody who shuts down emotionally misses a lot of the magic in life. Because that's where the magic lives. Life is very static. Stale. When there's no emotion. Right? Magic is in the emotions. That's your person. That's how they behave. That's how they're behaving. And that's why they're going to need that Jupiter retrograde energy. And they're going to need to get punched with Lion's Gate. And they're going to need the grounding energy of Mercury in uh, Virgo when it moves there. 
and the fire that in their belly that'll happen when Vio, when Venus moves into Leo, which we'll, we, which we will forever call, thanks to my Freudian slip there, Vio. <laughs> all right, let's pull on this soul. We'll find out more when we clarify, but that's what's off of that card. It's winter, all right? Okay, um, soul energy. Uh, it's bookend in the Seven of Pentacles, so this ought to be interesting. This is directly related to the new moon. Let's see, the chariot. Why is that important? It's a, it's a Cancerian energy. Cancer is ruled by the moon. It's also Cancer energy is our host for this entire soulmate cycle. Okay, uh, you, you shouldn't even need me. This is go, this is forward movement. It's determination. It's an aha moment with the sun in front of the moon. Right. This what the universe is trying to tell us here is your person becomes very grounded because I got a pinnacle around the horse and a pinnacle here. Your person becomes very grounded after the moment, right? After that moment where it's completely dark and it doesn't last long. You know, mathematically speaking, it's it's just a few seconds later, you know, a few minutes later, whatever. You know, and that energy moves away. It goes away very quickly. Uh, but it's gonna it's gonna light your person up a little bit. The soul is pushing this person to move forward, or it will be. Okay, with it bookending the Seven of Pentacles, again, it's the whole realization of things. It's the whole taking stock of things. Um, but this is a very forward moving energy. This is good. I like the chariot and the soul, especially when I'm pulling on the moon and a new moon at that. Um, we'll see what happens when we clarify that. Remember, the whole reading is the Knight of Cups. So we had to have something in the soul that showed forward movement. And boy, did we get it. We got major arcana um hidden energy what's the universe want to tell you look at that well, look look it's red with the energy of the connection so these two are red together i said this is representing that new moon moment right the moment i said be up at 2 a.m for and i called it at the very beginning of this reading i called it kind of a hanged man energy a suspended animation if you recall rewind i did here it is. The message from the universe is this. Read with the energy of your connection. What, the, what else the universe wants to tell us about the energy of your connection? Is it's, it's a huge, huge... Somebody's going to get some major perspective on just how wintry their life is. Okay? And they're going to want to do something about it. That's the thing. Because not, be, not that they haven't in the past. They have. You get readings all the time. My, my, your person realizes that they did wrong and they're coming back. Blah, blah, blah. This is different. It's different in the sense of there isn't anywhere else for them to go. It's either I stay in winter or I head out for some. Okay? It, it's, it, there, it, there's, no other, there's no other option. And staying in winter isn't the option. They can't. It, nobody can sit in this energy. They can't. It, it's a huge energy of loss. This is nice. We'll see what happens when we clarify, but that's major perspective. Let's not forget the overall energy is the Knight of Cups forward movement. They have to let go. Crossed by the two of wands, they have to let go of one wand to move forward. Have to. And that's what they're realizing. That's new perspective. It's a dark night of the soul. I said for that brief moment with the moon when it's dark, when it's completely gone, when the energy is off. And In that moment, everyone is in a dark night of the soul. Okay? Everyone is on a spiritual journey. It's just most people don't pay attention. And the universe is saying, your person is someone who doesn't pay attention to these things. They're not, even if they, even if they act all spiritual and shit, they're not. They're not really there, right? You, the DFs are way ahead on that front. So the DFs are more likely to pick up on this energy a lot more, a lot faster than they are. But once they do, there's forward movement here. What's the potential final outcome? It's red with the five of pentacles. Look, see? Ten Pentacles. It, it's it's almost a perfect story on the table. I mean, the, the reading followed the energy perfectly, even down to here the energies of the connection and the message from the universe talking about that moment. I knew I've never described the new moon like that to you before. I've never told you about that energy before. There's a reason everything happens. There's a reason I told you about it at the beginning of this reading. So for my fast forwarders who fast forward until cards hit the table, well, you know, fine. If you don't want to learn, that's fine. But this is Ten Pentacles. It's communication when it falls here. You, you only get this through communication. This is happiness. It's better than the Ten of Cups that we started with. It, they have no other choice. They must let go of something. It's a realization they'll have, okay? Slow to act on it. I won't lie to you. 
You know, your person's not paying attention. The universe told us right here. They haven't been paying attention. Their whole life, they've missed out on all the magic. And it's what they're going to feel. It's going to make them want to do something. This is strong Cancerian energy here. does not mean you're dealing with a Cancer. does not. Under any sense of the word. Not even you might be or anything. No. That's not what it means. When it falls here in the soul position, your, your person is feeling the soul connection. It's telling us in a stronger way almost exactly what the Two of Cups told us in the pre-shuffle. Okay? The Two of Cups was bookending the Ten of Cups. All right? That's what it's telling us. All right. We're going to talk to the witches, uh, which, by the way, randomly, when I pick up the deck before a single shuffle, the last time I put this deck away, I put the cards back randomly. I shuffle three times. I do, the, do it that way every time. Randomly at the bottom is a chariot. How about that? And I was just talking about it. I had no idea that was there. All right. Let's go. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Let's give it a shuffle. Our chariot's gone now. Let's give it a shuffle. Seven of, seven of Pentacles. This is the energy of your connection. All right? And what the new moon is doing to someone sitting in winter. And they are. And, and uh, all of your people to varying levels distract themselves from the magic of life. It's probably because they got hurt. I don't know. I think we're going to find out a great deal of things in the extended for this. You know, but I'll go as deep as I can here. You know, I, I, I will. I will take it. I will let it take me down rabbit holes if it wants to. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh wow! <laughs> the Two of Wands. <laughs> um, it's the same thing I told you about this one, right? Which is crossing this Knight of Cups. There's, there's really no choice here anymore. You know, they've had these realizations before. They've thought back, but it's different now. They can no longer. Sitting, there's nowhere to go. The car is not going to Disneyland until this, this five of wands bullshit in their head and you know all this over arguing with themselves and whatever is gets resolved. All right, uh, the universe seems to think because the energy around them is pushing them to resolve it, and I get that it's pushing them. This is determination, this is a powerful forward energy, the chariot, and I get that they're being forced to let go of that, and that's kind of there. It shows up because these two are bookending each other. All right, what's on top? The magician. Um, it's an energy of transformation. That's all I get off of it. It is an action card. So in other words, in due time, action will happen after a period of pause. Um, but that's all I get. So why is the magician here? Six of Cups. Okay. Um, this energy for your person, the reason they're sitting in winter is something from the past. Okay. Uh, and it's affecting your connection. It's making them want to just sort of make your connection. It has in the past, I should say, made them want to make your connection disappear because your connection makes them feel something that they no longer want to feel about something that happened in the past. It has nothing to do with you for most of you, okay? And don't tell me you know everything about your person and there's nothing like that. People don't tell you. It takes seasoned therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists months to get shit out of people right months people keep things and bury things listen to your person i've pulled on them enough i've pulled on the runners in this cycle enough to know they got stuff buried at the pit of their soul that they have just covered with so much shit and camouflage even they don't know it's there all right everybody does everybody has something something happened to all of us you know your life wasn't a fucking rainbow riding riding a unicorn through a rainbow ever since you were a little kid it's always something all right I got my plenty of stories about creepy people too, you know, when I was a kid. But I look at all of it. I go, you know, what happened there? What the hell was that? Everybody got a story. Your person here, uh, this energy is transforming. Uh, what this new moon is doing is, again, it's, it's dad pulling over the car and pointing at the kids. You need to knock it off, right? In this case, your person is both kids. They're just arguing with themselves a little bit. Um, it's transforming a past energy within your person, which is, again, forcing some kind of movement here. It's movement that's positive for your direction, you know. This is why August played out the way it did, and, you know, a lot of this has been brewing for a while. Um, let's pull on the Five of Pentacles here. It's funny that when I pulled that card, the only thing I got off of it was, uh, was you know, your person. Uh, it's almost like a, I, they feel, uh, I don't know if they're intentionally distracted. Some of your people might be. Leo's watching. Your person is intentionally distracting themselves. I know that from your readings. But for the rest of you, 
there's varying levels of it, varying degrees. Some people just don't know any better. You know, they're just very, we have a very self-focused, there's a very self-focused energy in the collective right now. It's too self-focused. Uh, it, it, it translates in the news. They often say in the news, uh, here in America, they say Americans have a short attention span. So if you want something to go away, you just stop talking about it and they'll forget about it and then whatever. And that's, that's reflective of that self-focus. People, people will. You'll forget things because you're more interested in the moment and what's going on in the moment. So your, your life is a bit choppy because of that. That's your person. And they've left them to varying degrees and they've left themselves out in the cold. Basically, it's winter energy around them. And that new moon is going to make them feel that, let me tell you. With, and with Jupiter stopped and going retrograde, that car is going nowhere until they work it out. And that's what these are telling us, too. The magician with the Six of Cups. All that past shit. Um, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Tell me, tell me more about it. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The energy around them is go, go, go. Okay? Um, they go. It's a wake up. The Knight of Cups crossing the Five of Pentacles is wake up. Is someone yelling wake up in your ear? Wake the fuck up, motherfucker. Right? It's like that. Uh, the energy is, this is the overall energy of the reading. It's also the environmental energy around your person in the 3D. I, I know, listen, I know all this person, I know they distract themselves and I know they got some shit going on. But this person here, there's, there's a massive amount of disappointment. We saw that Four of Cups that came out after the cut. There's a massive amount of disappointment for how they've lived their life, the decisions they made. For some of you, for some of you with your person, it's one specific decision they made. Maybe it was to marry somebody, or maybe it was to take this job, or to take a career path, or to allow their family to do this, or have this kind of influence. I don't know. But there's a lot of disappointment around your person. The environmental energy around them is, in fact, I think probably when they daydream, they're this Knight of Cups. All right, making some changes and all that. What's on top here? So that's good. Oh, look at that. These are red together, right? These these sections, and I've got ten pentacles here. I got ten pentacles here. It's again, somebody here, and we've seen this before, but I'm just going to say it again. Somebody here got happiness wrong. Okay, they did. They they never had to. It's that moment. This is a powerful moment. That moment when it goes dark. Okay. Jupiter retrograde, all happening at almost the same time, is going to force that moment to last a little longer than it normally does for people that aren't fucking paying attention. I'll phrase it like that so you understand what I'm trying to say. Somebody here is just, they just in this moment of realizing they got happiness wrong. They never had the Ten of Pentacles and it's just winter around them. They're fixing to put a coat on. With the Knight of Cups around there, listen, this bodes well for you. This board bodes well, at least for them, changing their life on some level. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they got it wrong. He stopped in this deck. What did, I, what did I say? Rewind. I said it all about this. I told you about people and what happens when you live your life by Pentacles. It's static. It's stale. Right? I said you miss all the magic because the magic lives in the emotions and the things that happen, the things we experience. So what if you went through, you had, a, you had an affair on a trip and you, you went through this big emotional thing and you're a mess over it. You're better for it. You live some magic. Right? You don't have to just watch it. That's why TV shows are so popular. Most people are living five, uh, by, by pentacles. Their life is static, it's boring, it's stale. They watch the TV shows and they watch people have affairs and love this. Everybody loves The Bachelor. It's like a, a fairy tale playing out. Oh, I wish that could be me, you know, kind of a thing. It can be you. It, it's, it's no big deal. Just go out and meet some people and experience some things. It's, your person never did. I said it. They missed out. They held on to that pentacle. This in the witch's deck, this knight of pentacles is stopped at the water. They never dipped the, even a hoof in. All right, and again, around you, your person is not going to be good around Jupiter retrograde and this new moon. These two energies coming together. This is not good. I, I don't mean it in a bad way. I don't mean they're going to harm themselves or something. I just mean they're going to be very sad, very disappointed, very of that four of cups that came out after the cut. All right, yeah. Both of those cards in the cut section are why the fuck are we here? They pair together. The second one after the cut helps me read the first one. All I get, all I got off of that was disappointment. 
right? They never, they never experienced. Now all of a sudden, there's you. There's the soulmate connection, which the chariot card kind of represents on a high level because it's Cancerian energy. And this whole soulmate cycle that we're all in is Cancerian themed. The North Node was in Cancer when this cycle began. So it's all welcome to Cancer's fantasy hell island. Okay? That's what it is. And this is, this is the connection. Your connection is in their soul is what the universe is trying to tell me by throwing me a card of Cancer here and a big card of Cancer. Okay? Now let's pull on it. Why is the chariot here? It was also randomly at the bottom of the deck when I picked this one up. Alright? Somebody got it wrong. But now they're backed against the wall. That car ain't moving to Disneyland until they work something out here. When people are forced to do things, you know, most people are pretty lazy. I'll be honest with you. I'm just being honest. I know people don't like to hear it. Most people are, are fucking lazy. Lazy as fuck. We become very lazy as a society. Yeah? We have technology that does everything for us. Yeah, we don't do try. If we take somebody from this this generation, right out here in this time that we live, and put them back in Victorian times, they'd be fucking freaking out at all the work they had to do and things they have to do, things that aren't done for them, and all of that. We become very lazy, and and th and that said, that that laziness makes it easy to stay in panicles for a long time and avoid emotion and all of that. Can't do that. We can't. We absolutely cannot do that. They're still wearing the panicle around their neck, though. It's there. All right. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? It's easy to not succeed in life. It's very easy. Failure is a piece of cake. Uh, five swords. Yeah. The affecting energy around them. Again, I said somebody here realizes that they made some bad decisions. Some about a bad decision. This is short-term, short-sightedness. Right? Making bad, bad decisions. Too much self-focus around your person has put a damper on things. Now, that's the affecting energy around their soul. I, I, I read it more as disappointment about those decisions, about being short-sighted. They've sabotaged their own happiness by standing still, basically, by the past decisions they've made. This is standing still. The affecting energy around them is a realization of that which should cause forward movement. What's on top? Nine of Wands. Again, all of this why is the Nine of Wands here before I open my mouth? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's all, your person's life is phony. I was, I was going to say that around the... They always get in their own way. I mean, can I just put it like that? They get in their own damn way. And again, most people do. To me, your person's just most people. There's something very special about this connection. Don't get me wrong. The con this, this connection cycle, all of these connections are very special. All, all of the people, the runners and the non-runners, have the potential, have a destiny of some kind, have the potential to be great. They're all old souls. But there's something extraordinarily ordinary about the runners in this cycle. People who stuck with tradition, did what they were supposed to do, did whatever, whatever. There's something just extraordinarily ordinary. Okay? And that's sort of what I get here. This is Sadly, this is this is what most people do and somebody here is realizing that it's not for them that they're better than that and That's what the chariot is telling me and that's good, but They they've been they're the cause of their own problems They've had a wall up to their own happiness and the happiness they've had has been fake. It's been phony. It's been winter It hasn't been this beautiful summery card here. All right So that's the soul position the soul is okay. It's it's awakening all right. it, it will be awake. I think it'll take them a spell to figure it out, though. I think it's going to take some additional energies on that to figure it out Why, for, for them to really get it. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about the hangman. All right, here we go. Tell me about the hangman. Why is it here? See, even the universe says that, too. Although it did back up my moon read with that hangman, because I mentioned it earlier, but still, yeah. The Ace of Cups. Uh, this is a, a stopped energy with the Ace of Cups. It's sort of a, it's like that suspended animation I talked about in the beginning. All right, it's someone who, imagine you were on a hike. I'll give it to you this way. Imagine you were on a hike. This is what this person's realizing. Imagine you were on a hike. And it's just a regular woods, right? No, no big deal. You haven't seen anything special. And then you come around a corner and you see this. I mean, you literally see a 50-foot tall cup with with some sort of 
of waterfalls, falls of water and liquid coming off of it, and it's shining and glimmering, and it looks like this. And maybe a unicorn hops by like that. It's, it's that, well, imagine your eye, you, you'd freeze, wouldn't you? You'd be like, what the fuck? That's kind of this energy. This is, and I'll, I'll, I'll word it out for you. What the fuck? Like that. It's like that in the hangman. It's, it's that moment. And, and, and the Jupiter retrograde kind of suspends it there. It's suspended animation of this. It's almost like the water is flowing and then it stops. And it starts to, everything starts to slow down. It's almost like they're on some kind of acid trip. What's on top here? Yeah, a Knight of Swords. They're gonna, <laughs> uh, your person. They're gonna want to flee. I won't lie to you. They're going the wrong way. That knight's going the wrong fucking way. They're gonna want to flee. The Knight of Cups are all going this way, right? Knight of Pentacles even going that way. This person here, they're gonna want to run from it because it, it's scary. I mean, you might. If I saw a fifty-foot-tall cup like that, I think, who drinks out of that? Maybe there's a 150 foot tall something or other that's coming along, you know, if that's a 50 foot cup, hell, they might be two or 300 feet tall. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a scared running, it's not, I don't usually get, there's a lot of energies I don't usually get off the cards here, and that's what I get. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, the High Priestess. It, it activates, the High Priestess, it activates everything. Look, I talked about the, come on. This is High Priestess is red with the uh, Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords is red with the Magician. And I said, uh, when I read the Magician card, I said like a puff of smoke. They want something to disappear, right? They, want, they just push stuff down and all of that. Yeah, they want to run. They want to disappear, right? Like Bewitched, where they snap their fingers and boom, they disappear like that. Why? Why is that there? Because of the High Priestess. Because that, everything from the past is coming up under this moon. It's all there for them to see. In that moment, which Jupiter is holding in suspended animation, you can see, they can see everything. Everything, how they are, how they happened, how they're in winter, how they got all their decisions wrong, how they've been the cause of their own problems. All of it. It all comes to the surface, which now explains this Ten of Pentacles in the final outcome. This is a real Ten of Pentacles. This is the real deal. This is what they're after. They should move forward towards the real Ten of Pentacles and make some changes. I think a lot of them already have started to make the changes and what's happened is some doubt has set in. Okay? Because I see that in the readings that I pull. Someone's leaving someone. Someone's decided to go. Someone's decided this and that. Yeah. There's a difference between deciding and doing. Alright? For a lot of them, even in progress, you start to second guess yourself. There's no time for second guessing here. Their back's against the wall. They cannot move forward until they make an absolute decision and stick to it in this energy. Especially while Jupiter is retrograde and it's going to be retrograde till the end of October. <laughs> so, we got some, you know, this stuff, hey, this car is going nowhere, kids. You need to work it out. Um, they don't, they, they try to push it back. They want to run away from it because it's all coming to the surface. The high priestess pushes things down. Keeps the secrets close to the vest, as they say, right? They've got some secrets from the past. Some things they really need to look at. And they're not directly related to you, but they do relate how they behaved around your connection and behave towards you. Okay. Now, they, the final outcome is encouraging because I've got the Knight of Cups here as my overall energy crossed by that Two of Wands, which was also crossing here, which we know we've already talked about. Backs against the wall. Got to let go of that wand if you want the real Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. Here's the final outcome. Let's see where we go. What's the potential final outcome here, universe? Why is the uh, Ten of Pentacles here? First, we'll get the affecting energy around it, the environmental energy. We'll see where we go. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? Yeah. Remember a three card. Try to remember. It, it's, not, it's, it's not that it's that far back. But try to remember a three card reading I pulled yesterday or, day or, or a day or so ago. I don't remember when it was. It was after I finished the monthly readings. I said, I, I pulled on the hidden energies. And I said... They're coming in swordsy. Yep. King of Swords. Someone is someone will, these are red with these. Someone will take act. This is a reliable energy. He's gonna at least dip a hoof in the water. Someone will take action. There's an energy of action around them. I see it here with the King of Swords, and I saw it here with the Knight of Cups crossing. Both of those are forward moving cards. I think the action is a bit swordsy. Alright? I think 
it is a little bit. It's a bit like what I said in that Hidden Energies reading. And I and here's why. You can see why. Why would they show up to get Ten Pentacles as the King of Swords? Well, look over here. You know, this is all bringing up some stuff that, remember that 50 foot tall Ace of Cups I talked about? Oh my God, holy shit. You know, and they want to push it down. They want to run away from it, but they can't. There's nowhere to go. You know, they trapped in the back seat with Dad the Universe pointing at him going, you work this shit out. You know, or we're going nowhere. There's nowhere to go. Um, so that's that's the affecting energy. It, it, it's a good sign. It's nice. The King of Swords, I like the King of Swords in most contexts. I don't care for it here. But I do like it in most contexts. It is someone who takes action. Okay? Uh, they got to cut one thing out and come toward another. It's essentially a supercharged Two of Wands in our reading here, which was crossing here and was crossing the Knight of Cups. Still there at the bottom. Okay, let's see. What's on top? Ace of Wands. See? This card here is red with the Ten of Pentacles, and this card here is red with the Ten of Pentacles. It's red with the Ten of Pentacles in two places. This is the fake Ten of Pentacles that's left them in winter because they made some bad decisions, which they did to themselves, we learned here. And they know that the soul, and that can hurt. When we realize we've at the soul level that we've hurt our own life by our stupid decisions, you feel what? Well, you feel disappointed, don't you? Disappointed in yourself. Yeah, your person is. We had the four of cups as, as after the cut. They are. I mean, that energy is here. There's a, there's, a, there's a stink of disappointment all over this. This is a new beginning. It's a passionate one at that. It's the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands can... You have to be careful with the Ace of Wands. It can burn out. It can, it can flare up and burn out like a, like a road flare that's defective. Like a defective road flare, right? Uh, this King of Swords, you get, we, that's why I said I usually in most contexts like this King of Swords energy. I don't care for it here. I think it's somebody who's doing knee-jerk decisions and that's come up in recent three-card readings, right? You have to be careful. I'm not saying it will burn out. I don't have any indication of that. I am saying that someone is coming towards you but they're coming in hot. And I'm not sure that's, that's they might want to come in a little sweeter. Maybe stick with the Knight of Cups, okay? Leave the King of Swords at home, kind of what I'm saying. Why is the Ace of Wands here? This card is red. It tells us why the Ace of Wands is here, and it's red with the Knight of Pentacles. See if they're going <laughs> to... I was going to say, let's see if they're going to put a hoof in the water. All right? Yeah, they are. It's judgment. Judgment. Yep, and that is judgment. I know some people think when I pull this, it's the moon. It's not the moon. The moon is some, some girl in the woods. These are three kids looking up at an eclipse there. But this isn't necessarily an eclipse. I don't have to read it that way. It's also a dark moon, isn't it? I know, I know it's covering this. It, it can be read as a new moon energy. Under this new moon energy, somebody wants a second chance. They, there's nowhere to go here. This is, a, this is, again, another suspended animation energy. It's judgment. It's look, just look at the, all I'm drawn to is this moon type thing here up at the top. It can be anything you want. It can be an eclipse, right? A solar eclipse, something like that. It can be. Or it can be moonlight back there and it's representing the dark of the moon. It can also be that. Go either way. I'm pulling a new moon reading. All, either way you look at it, doesn't really matter. It's a, it's a moment where everything is dark. It's a moment where and why is that important will you be like well shouldn't we have light moment where we can see everything you're saying we can see everything no all the answers are in the silence all the answers are in the dark it's called the law of pure potentiality right it's only when we quiet the mind when we see and feel everything rather ironically <laughs> the mind the brain gets in the way everyone's so big on their brain got all these people i see them on tv i went to harvard i went to harvard i went to who gives a fuck that just trained your brain. Good for you. You got a good brain. Wow. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean they figured anything out. Plenty of those people are in fucking therapy offices. In fact, I, most of the people I know that went to Ivy League schools have a fucking therapist. Well, there's a lot of pressure for that. You know, parents usually put the pressure on them and all that kind of stuff. It's They're a mess most of the time. I know. But at the end of the day, what matters is in the silence. That's where you figure it out. So you shouldn't have gone to Harvard. You should have just sat in a dark room. You'd know more. <laughs> you really would. All the answers are there. Everything is there. Save your money. But in the real world, you kind of need that piece of paper. So you might want to go anyway. Judgment. Somebody, somebody here is dipping a hoof in the water. And, they, and they'll figure it out. There's a second chance for this person. 
Do I think they're going to fuck it up? I don't know. This King of Swords is not the way to approach. I'm worried about that. I'm going to pull on that in the extended. I'm going to see how they're going to approach and why they're going to approach in that manner. We pulled on it before. Often they show up in swords. They show up in three swords. This is a hurt king. There's no doubt about it. But either way here, this is someone from your past. Your final outcome in your reading is someone from the past showing up into the present that has a great effect on your future. And I mean great this time because it's fueled by an Ace of Wands. This could be great. And like I said about the Ace of Wands, it can flare out. It can light up hot and then die. This could be great. It could be bad. It depends how it plays out for you. Um, so you're also going to get some of these moments here with the new moon. Make sure you figure out for yourself. Make sure you at least you know what you want from this person. Because this person has no idea how to behave in summer. They only know how to behave in winter. They're showing up to the beach, which is you in this analogy, wearing a snowsuit, dressed like dressed like they're up in the up up in the art on an Arctic expedition. You know. They're not it's not it's not the proper dress. But they are the cause of their own problems. Have some empathy for them a little bit. You know. This is someone here who's definitely got some shit from the past and we're gonna dig. Because I've got a high priestess that's essentially crossing a six of cups. There's something here. There's something we need to dig into here of why this person feels the need to put up smoke and mirrors. Alright? I'm not sure what it is, but we'll figure it out. We'll see how they're going to approach you in the extended, and uh, we'll find out a little bit more about how they feel about you because, or how they see you. You know what I'm saying? Because we, all we really have here, they're very self-focused, your person, uh, in this energy. And that's fine. That, that's, that's what the, hang, the universe is telling us with the hangman. It's what this energy does. It's okay. But I, I don't want this self-focus to stick. I want to be careful because your person is prone to this kind of self-focused behavior. In fact, that self-focus is part of the reason they ran from you in the first place. You know, when we're too self-focused, we don't feel anything. You know. So, that being said, I'm going to go pull some wicked voodoo. We'll see what else the universe wants to tell us over there. If you want the extended, it's there for you. We'll see. It's a powerful moon. It's got uh, Lionsgate energy within it. Of a move of Venus and a move of Mercury. And Jupiter retrograde holding it steady for a little bit. Hmm. Very interesting. That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. Okay? Uh, I'm going to pull three cards from the universe before I go. I forgot. I'm going to do it. We'll go back to the original deck. See if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you. Alright? Is there anything else you want to tell everyone before I go pull some wicked voodoo here, universe, on this wicked moon? That's a wild ending to this reading. That is something else. I love that card in this deck. That is something else. I can't even tell you. There's so much energy coming off of that. I know they really want a, a new beginning with you. I know they want a second chance. Nobody likes sitting in winter. Let's see here. Give me three cards, Universe. What else you want to tell everybody? Yeah. Uh, these cards are repeats, actually, I believe, from a recent reading I pulled. I believe it's a repeat from the Hidden Energy where I said they were showing up King of Swords a little bit. Uh, maybe the pre-shuffle? I can't remember. Uh, Page of Wands, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords crossing the Five of Cups. Oh, man. You know, it's just saying the same thing. This is, this is winter. Um, they, they do, the universe is trying to tell you here, um, they do have a, have a fear of coming towards you, even though, uh, in general, they have a fear of coming towards you. They, they show up as this page here. Normally, I like the Page of Wands, but in this case here, it's, it's a Page of Wands who's, this is telling me about a lesser truth. In other words, it's someone who's being less truthful than they could be because they're very worried. I think it net net it's an energy of once they have these moments where they're forced to sort of look at this stuff for real and there's nowhere to go, they're backed against the wall. I think it's it's a I think they feel stupid. That's sort of how I read this energy. They feel stupid as a whole, just paraphrasing the whole Eight of Swords, Crossing the Five of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. They realize the truth and feel stupid. And it knocks them back a little bit. It knocks their ego back. Again, this is a person who's lived by their ego. Life by the pinnacle is life by the ego, right? I got a bunch of money. I'm great. Look at, look at my car. Hey, take a look at my house. Take a look at this. Good for you. You know, you're a shit person, but you got a beautiful car. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Steve. You know, it's like that. It, it, and it hurts their ego. It makes them see that they've been 
you are a reminder to this person that they that they whoops I knocked my knight of cups. You are a reminder to this person that they got their life wrong. That they got and they and they caused the problem. They could have had you. Okay, so that's what the universe is saying. It's it's not it's not going to keep them from coming towards you. It's it's more explanation of why they show up as a page, just in the surface energy, just in general. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. I want it. This is getting interesting, especially with this. What the fuck? All right, okay, I'll take a look at that too. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, everybody who watches, and all that. All right. Good luck, everyone, and stay tuned. I will be doing Jupiter Retrograde as well at some point very soon. All right, good luck.